Hey guys, if you want to learn how to make this car in Simula 4D, it's a Lamborghini Murcielago, and the it's a five-hour video, and what it pertains is basically making the car like just a 60% uh, accuracy for the car. I mean, that's all I can really squeeze in into five hours. But um, if you take what you learned in this video and you were to spend maybe 15, like 10 hours to 15 or 20 hours or more, or however much you need, and if you take your time and you concentrate, you can make, of course, a lot more realistic and a, and a lot more accurate models. But um, I'm, I'm just going to do a, a rotation of, the, of this mesh. I'm going to change the display to quick. So that the light's not really affecting and it scrolls smoother. But uh, this is the wireframe of this car. Let me uh, change the rotation. Whoa, okay, I gotta move the auxiliary out of the way. Okay, and then that's the top and so on and so forth. It's only making the car's basic mesh. Again, it's a five-hour video, so it's not like I can go through and make the interior, the headlights, tail lights, etc. And it's not like I ever really make those anyway. But um, it only covers the basic body of the car, and I I didn't make the whole side skirt, but uh, didn't really need to. And um, yeah, so basically, if you take what you learn in this video, you can uh, progress and make a like any other type of cars as long as you have the right photos you take your time and you don't get overwhelmed by the or by the task at hand and I have and uh, in in this video I I uh, we I go through and I talk through every single step that I do like cloning points looping selections extrusions hypernerves etc and uh, this is the this is what the hypernerve turned off and if I turn it on it gets a lot higher um but I go through and the hypernerves on on the wheels as well I'm, I'm gonna do a render with, with the non AA on and that's gonna that's the car that we that we make but I, I go through making the car and hypernerving and uh, material making these wheels of course and these wheels aren't the usual make your spokes and then make your rim with a lathe or loft object. Um, it's it's all one mesh. So if I go into wireframe and I uh, push O to zoom into this guy and get the life selection and unselect that, this is all one single mesh. And uh, and I go about telling uh, showing guys how to make it too. Okay, and that's the rim right there. And let's see. And this grill here is just made up of one, pretty much, it's an ingon, but you can use one polygon. The uh, the alpha map is made with a procedural map that's in, in Summer 40. And uh, all this is made with some of 4D's core version. As you notice, I don't have any plugins in here. Um, however, in the video, I left the plugins in just because I thought I, I was going to do something with them, but I, I figured I didn't want to. And that's about it. I didn't make the headlights and the taillights or nothing. The taillights is just a, it's, it's just a red shape. If I... Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you all uh, how I'll rotate this around and as you can see the rear is just a red shape it's, it's a set selection but yeah and then this is the color here but uh, I I use the Denel in this render in the, in the tutorial I can't remember but I think I used the Denel and the chain but I, don't, I think the chain part froze so I think all it's all that's in the video is a is a Denel, but um, like most people like to see this car in red for some reason, so I'll do a red one for this preview. Take this one changes to red. Let's go into reflections. Change the reflection color to a like a pink, and then the edge color to a very light pink, and then I'll do a render of that. 
and whatnot. Okay. Where's my background? I believe this is my background color. Let's see. Yeah. And uh, if I change this to like a Fresno, it'll ref. I'll uh, in, in in the video I'll sh I show you guys how to make a. A composite background so if, if you add a color to the background it'll just change it like that and that's pretty much it so if I change this back to best and I do a render which will take forever almost to throw out but um as most of you guys know or if you've just bought some of 4d or, or taken a, a class for it, what the anti-aliasing does is basically it uh it takes away the jagged edges that are usually shown in renders if if your geometry if your anti-aliasing is set to none or the default geometry and so is your reflections and the lines become a lot sm uh, smoother and if you still have a uh, uh, jaggy showing you go to anti-aliasing with this still set to best and you change the threshold below 10 percent and I have jaggies here because I have a, a sharpen filter turned on, but that would be covered in in the video. And that's pretty much the card that that work that in the video that we're gonna be making. So as inform as informative as I am in this preview, which if you don't think I am, oh well. Um, this is how I'm, how I'm gonna be talking and ex explaining in the main video, which is two point three four gigabytes it's really big it's about five hours the last 15 minutes cuts off and it's just audio because as the computer was re recompiling the the video my my laptop froze so I lost it the last 15 minutes and whatever is shown is what I could recover from my temporary files since the recorded video was deleted in the process so yeah all right uh was the stop button